Good evening. I'd like to call the licensing board to order for February 3rd, 2020. And please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, We have two items on the agenda tonight. Number one is the regular meeting minutes from January 20th, 2020. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign, motion carries. Item number two is a list of operators li uh, licenses which is in our packet. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign, motion carrying. Being no further business before the licensing board, I adjourn. Thanks, Steve. I'd like to call the February 3rd Finance Committee to order. We have three items on the agenda. Item number one is the minutes of the January 20th meeting. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign, and that motion carries. Item number two is a resolution increasing appropriations of funds for snowplow services at the Department of Military Affairs. With a presentation by Mark Petrovich, the Director of Development. Good evening, Mark. Good evening. Uh, the airport administration had successfully bid and contracted to provide snow removal services to the uh, guard facility at the airport. Uh, this resolution is to allow the that revenue um, receive for those services to be received, appropriated to the cover our labor equipment and supply costs attributed to this. We um, are providing those services using our existing part-time personnel, just increasing the hours to do it. Um, the services, um, the two minor events that we've covered so far have already paid for most of the equipment cost involved with this and it's just a, a better way to provide service at the airport and still have another revenue stream for the airport um, we asked for, for approval of the resolution excellent i hope you knocked on wood after you said there were two minor events and <laughs> <laughs> so far <laughs> all right thanks any comments or questions for mark otherwise i entertain a motion motion to approve second I have a motion a second any further comments if not all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed by the same sign that motion carries thank you thanks mark Item number three is a resolution increase, increasing appropriations of funds for West Bend Theater Grant. Presentation by Adam Gitter. Good evening, Adam. Good evening. The City of West Bend um, received a 250000 Community Development Investment Grant from Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, and we had put in our paperwork to get that money sent to us, and we received our first of two payments from them. This is a resolution being able to pass that money onto the theater. Excellent. Very good news. Any comments or questions for Adam? Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further comments? Aye. <laughs> Otherwise, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign. That motion carries. Thanks a lot, Adam. Uh, being no further business for the Finance Committee, I adjourn. Thanks, Rich. Call the Common Council meeting to order for February 3rd. And note we have 11 items on the agenda and all aldermen are present and accounted for. <laughs> Item number one is approval of the minutes of regular meeting January 20th, 2020. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Are there any comments or corrections? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign? Motion carries. Items two, three, and four are the consent agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Motion is second. Any comments or questions? Being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign? Motion carries. Item number five is appointment of Mike Yench as the Director of Parks and Recreation and Forestry. Um, at the January 30th meeting, the Parks Commission unanimously, unanimously agreed to appoint uh, Mike Inch as the new director of Parks, Recreation, and Forestry. Mike has been with the city, I don't know how many years, I'm guessing up, upwards of 20 at least. And um, he has been an integral part of that department 
and he is being asked and has agreed to take the next step up to be the director of the uh, Forest, Forestry Park Recreation Forestry Department. We all look forward to the things that um, Mike is going to do with this uh, new promotion, and I know I wish him well. The council wishes him well, and Jay, you got to say something about it? Well, I'll just say it's it's our recommendation, um, my recommendation, the Park Rec Forestry Commission's recommendation for Mike's appointment to the Park Recreation and Forestry Director position. I've had the pleasure of working with Mike more closely in the last six months when I served as interim director. I've seen how he's worked with his staff and the, the staff and projects that he's been able to accomplish over the years, 21 years, I believe, acting Mayor Hugister is how long he's been with the city. A long time, no doubt, and uh, certainly as a West Bend success story, in in my opinion, and it's it's I don't know with great enthusiasm I'll say that I am able to make this recommendation to the council tonight for his appointment. Looking forward to working with Mike and welcoming him to our department head team. Sorry, Mike, I didn't want to screw you out of one year there. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say? If so, step up to the mic. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, good evening. Um, to be quite honest with you, I'm. To say I'm excited for this opportunity would probably be an understatement. Um, I've been with the city 21 years, uh, the 22nd of this month, so I'm getting close there. So, um, no, but really, um, I like to work with the Common Council, the Commission, and just keep moving West Bend forward. I look at all the positive momentum we have right now in the downtown, the two parks that have been rebuilt, the east side of the Riverwalk, the museum, the train depot, the Eisenbahn Trail. Hopefully this year and the next two years, the West River walk downtown. I look at the momentum in Regner Park. I mean, that in itself is just just a, a tremendous story. Um, but we're not done yet in Regner Park. We have Carl Cuss Field, we have the bathhouse, some other things in Regner Park. Um, it, I, I'm really excited to keep working on those projects and keep moving that forward. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with the talented staff. Um, we have some true professionals that are just willing to dedicate uh, a tremendous amount of time and talent to these projects, to different rec programs. Um, in a couple of weeks, we'll be here to talk to you folks about the library and some um, rec department uh, teamwork and things like that um, over at the library. I look forward to some of the newer groups in town, like the Barton Historic Society or Barton Business um, Association. Um, that's what makes West Bend a really cool community, um, something I want to be part of as a director. So. Um, if you'd have any questions, obviously I'd be here to take those. And um, if this does pass in the next couple of weeks, I will be reaching out to each and every one of you. I'd like to do a one-on-one -on -one if you would like. Um, you can get to know me a little bit more and I can get to know you. Most of you I've worked with in some way, shape or form in the past. But again, thank you very much for this opportunity. I, I truly look forward to it. Thank you. John. Yeah, I'd like to add to that. Um, I've known Mike for quite a few years when I worked at Public Works. I had the um, excellent opportunity to work with Mike and anytime we needed anything, Mike was there for us. And throughout the years, there's other organizations that I've worked with Mike and he has been fantastic. And I am so happy as a council member to see that we promote it within our organization where we have a gentleman with such talent that we promote it. and recognize what a great job you did mike I compliments to you Thanks, great John. job thank you very Appreciate much it. anyone else if not i'll entertain a motion on the item motion to approve second I have a motion a second all those in favor signify by saying aye aye aye, aye. opposed to the same sign motion carries thank you thanks mike and we look forward to working with you you bet thanks thanks Item number six is a resolution amending the traffic manual for the city of West Bend. There were five additions into the traffic manual, and you want me to? if anybody has any questions, the chief can answer them. He's here. Chief Moiler. Safety Commission, all these were pretty non controversial items, so. Uh, Mark? Yeah, uh, you're restricting the traffic on the, on Walnut, or parking on Walnut. Um, on the south side of Walnut, um, in the block, what, the 8th to 9th? Yes. 
Is, is there a reason that's not controversial and doing it a block further is? Uh, we went, we had very little, imp uh, the neighbors that uh, came, that was their recommendation. Um, and we had nobody really speak against what we were, what the commission approved that night. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? If there's no more questions, I'll entertain a motion on the item. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign. Motion carries. Item number seven is entertain a motion to adjourn in the closed section, session pursuant to state statute section 19.85 sub 1 sub e, deliberating or negotiating the purchase of public properties, the invested, investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session, a mutual moral agreement. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Stephanie, can you do a roll call, please? Alderman Butchlick. Aye. Alderman Allen. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderman Jenkins. Aye. Alderman Caston. Aye. Alderman Model. Aye. Alderman Hugister. Aye. Motion carried. All right, we should be back in the...
Okay, item number eight is a decision regarding mutual mall agreement. Motion to approve the amendment to the purchase agreement for the mutual mall. Second. I have a motion and a second. Are there any comments or questions? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign, motion carries. Item number nine is a report by Alderman Jenkins regarding the library board meeting. All right. I handed out, again, the printed report from our library director so you can take a look at more of the statistics and interesting stuff that she wrote down. Um, highlights, though, uh, she's working on the annual report. Uh, as of right now, we see an increase in physical circulation, which is a nice surprise, uh, and as well as an increase in electronic circulation, which we are used to. Um, you see that uh, Mike Miller uh, held a nice little panel discussion on Act 420 and how county payments are uh, dispersed, uh, which is good, again, to continue to educate um, different uh, municipal uh, governments on how those uh, funds are di divvied out. And then finally, we had a pretty productive discussion uh, last meeting in regards to a potential lease agreement or MOU between Parks uh, Recreation and the library. Um, those negotiations went pretty well. We had, had some feedback, but we were happy to have a document in hand because I know we were asking for that for a, a couple months. So exciting to see that moving forward and feel free to peruse the rest of the information as you will. Any questions for Chris? Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Item number 10, report regarding the Park and Rec Commission meeting. <clears throat> that was held on Thursday the 30th. Uh, the number one thing we did, obviously, was appoint Mike Yench as the director, and we're all looking forward to the great things he's going to be doing. Uh, Chris touched on a little bit about the uh, library build-out and the agreement between the library and the Parks and Forestry Department, Recreation and Forestry Department. Regarding the use of the building, um, they're going to be starting looking for on online donations in March and hopefully uh, some of the other funding approval and some of the bids will be coming in within the next couple of weeks. Riverwalk update, they had a meeting with the DNR regarding the <coughs> floodplain. Um, some of the broad timelines they're working on is 2020. They're looking at We Energies doing the work they have to do. Uh, 2021 south section north of the pedestrian bridge of the north pedestrian bridge that would be phase two and 2022 the north section north of the pedestrian bridge they've submitted a lot of grants um, some of them are overlapping we're still waiting to hear back on some of those so hopefully they'll look favorably upon our requests um, some of the things that have been going on, they're going to be having the, they had the luminary walk over at Lac Loran, about 700 people showed up for that. They had the, or they're going, they're going to have the uh, snowshoe event February 8th, an Arbor Dairy event on April 11th. Um, the tour, or the, I'm sorry, the winter warm up was held this last weekend with the ice sculpting downtown and the fat tire bike race. Apparently that was extremely well attended. Um, a Gears group was the name of their group that is the one that sponsored this and done a lot, did a lot of work on the trails, etc. And they're looking forward to continuing their work with uh, making the trails better throughout the parks. Some of the um, recreation things that are going on right now, swim lessons, gymnastics, Apparently the ball, adult ballroom cl dance class is full, so that's a very popular thing. And they are doing some of the street tree pruning in districts one and seven. Um, the new park signage is all done. They're looking at the scoreboards in Quas Creek Park. 
and the deer hunt uh, no, I'm sorry not deer hunt deer <laughs> removal is beginning it started on the 29th and they're gonna be out like one night every week trying to uh, cut the herd down a little bit any questions all right number 11 a report by Alderman Maddell regarding the historic Barton Business Association Thank you, Steve. Um, I've got a lot. We haven't uh, had an HBBA report in about a year. Uh, in case anyone in the public doesn't know, I would like to just reiterate what the HBBA is. We are the Historic Barton Business Association, and our mission is the beautification and socialization and generally improving the lives of the people of the Barton District 7 area through fundraising, event planning, and organizing volunteers. Just wanted to take a minute to celebrate some of the things that the HBBA did in 2019 and highlight some upcoming events. Last year, we sponsored seven events. Mother's Day brought fry, our new event, Barkin and Barton Dog Parade. Fourth of July brought fry, Mason Fundraiser established a Firefighters Memorial and renamed Overlook Park to Firefighters Memorial Bluff of Barton. Barton Day and Harvest Moon at La Laurent. We were gifted a huge cache of uh, Christmas decorations from the downtown bid for which we are eternally grateful and offering a $500 donation. I think it's worth mentioning that we installed and removed all of these decorations ourselves. So far coming up in 2020, we have a spring cleanup event to coincide with the rest of the city's spring cleanup sponsored in part by the HBBA on May 2nd, our annual Mother's Day Brat Fry event on May 9th, possibly our second annual Bargain and Barton Dog Parade on June 6th, our annual 4th of July brought fry in the Centennial Pavilion at Regner Park after the parade. And finally, our 7th annual Barton Day and car show up next to Firefighters Memorial Park. Some of the details of these events have yet to solidify, so keep track on our website, which is now easy to find on the website, Web, West Bend City website under the Business tab, where you can find applications to buy a brick for our firefighters memorial information on becoming a member of hbba contact information to become a vendor at one of our events or if you simply want to be more involved with barton and do some volunteering we can always use more help and strongly encourage folks to become more involved it's actually a lot of fun as chairperson of the hbba i would like to thank the barton district 7 area as well as the city of west bend for your ongoing support attending our events and helping to maintain barton's identity and rich history thank you Thanks, Justice. Any questions for Justice? If not, being no further business before the Common Council, I adjourn. I have one announcement to make uh, for anybody that is planning on going to the Planning Commission meeting tomorrow. There are several items on the agenda involving Quick Trip, and Quick Trip has recently asked within the last hour, hour and a half, to have it postponed for a month. So anybody that's coming regarding quick trip for the Common Council, it will not be on the agenda tomorrow. It'll be pushed back one month to May. Have it? To March. To March. I'm sorry. I said May. I'm sorry. <coughs> anybody else have any comments or questions? If not, have a good night, everyone.